Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So this week I'm going to show you creative ways to use your scraps with your nested dies. Doesn't matter what shapes you have. I've got square here purely because these were left over from a card that I made in last week's scraps video. So I'll link that one up here. For anybody new who's joining every Sunday, I do a video showing you how to use your scraps. So this week we're using the nested dies. Like I said, any shape that you have. Now, what you need to do, so I've got my square nested dies here. So even if you've got a small nest of dies, that will work fine. But I've got my larger ones here. And what I've done, you can see I've got tape running across it, is I've just taken them off my magnetic plate. And then I've just laid them back down again, making sure I've got a nice equal frame between each one. And then I've just popped some tape on the top so you have one die. You can now pass this through on any, you know, whether it's glitter card, pattern paper, plain card. It's entirely up to you. So I actually now want to cut the black. I've already made a few, but I really liked the effects. I want to try them in some other colours. So this one's going to be a black and white card. So you're just going to sit it on your card and then run that through the machine. Once they've cut, you've got all these frames. You then just want to die cut you know as many as you want and in whatever colors that you want so these are the ones some are left over from a video last week and then i've cut a few other ones for today's video so for the first card i'm just going to use the black and white here so i'm going to start off with the largest black one and then i'm going to take the next size down in the white and just start piecing it all back together again so this is the the most simplest design so it's basically just how it looks when you cut it but we're paper piecing it back together with different colors So I've actually ended up putting two styles together. This one's got the finishes with the white in the middle. This one finishes with the black in the middle. Now, you can just stick these directly onto your card blank if you would like. But I actually want to emboss this just to give it a bit more texture. So I'm going to cut myself a square that's just under this size. Now, I measured this before. It's four and a half squared. So I'm going to cut this so it's just slightly under. I don't want you to be able to see it, but I want to be able to stick them all onto it. So there's that one. And then I'll cut another one and then I'm going to add glue all over this piece. So what we're doing now really is making a topper. So you're going to put this on anything, whether it be an easel card, any other fun folds, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to take the largest one first and I just want to stick that over that one there. And then again, just start laying it all down now on top of that glue. And this is just going to make it a really strong piece. So I'm going to do that with both of them. Okay, so I've decided to do it slightly differently with these ones. So I'm just adding mats and layers. So it's a six by six card blank. So this is a piece of five and three quarters squared and then five and a half squared. And that's just going to go on top. I just thought it breaks up all of that space that I had before. So I've got one on a black card blank and I've got this one on a white card blank. And you'll see I've embossed that five and a half by five and a half piece and then with the the topper like i said you can put this onto anything now you might just want to store these away until you need them but i'm going to raise it up on a little bit of foam and i'll show you the other one i made where i embossed that piece in a second just try to do as many different ways really just to give you the options so you can then decide what you want to do and then i'm just going to place that down in the middle so those are now ready for me to add my sentiment so we've got this one here that's just plain really there's no embossing on it just mats and layers and then the topper this one you've got the embossed back piece there and then this one here is the topper embossed so that was the other version i done it's actually that way i think there we go so you've got three different ways there just using the nested dies i guess in their simplest form really just how they look when they come out of the die machine so that's card idea number one so card number two is probably my favorite now this one i've already done one style i'll show you that at the end and i just thought i've got to do it in the colors that i love for christmas which is green and red so i've just used again that die cut it in the red cut it in the green this is going to go on a six by six card blank 
So I think I'm going to start off with the large green one here. And you're going to grab the next size down in the red and you're going to pop this so it overlaps the bottom one and you're going to focus on the top corner and you're going to butt that corner up like so. Now you're only attaching at the minute just the overlapping piece. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there and just again make sure it butts right up. Take a little bit longer to dry with the glitter card, but it will be fine. And again, a little bit of glue under there, like so. Then you're going to get the next size again. So just see which one sits inside and then move it up, like so. If you kind of keep it in place with your finger at the top there, then you can just, if you've got one of the little precision tip bottles here, you can just move it underneath there quite easily and then again i'm going to go over to the red so that's that one but you can see now how it's starting to attach itself together and i'm just going to keep working my way until i've got to the very last one And then when you get to the last one, to the solid piece, you just want to overhang it the same amount that all of these overhang. So I'm actually just going to add my glue on that piece there. And then you can just slide it down until you're happy with the placement. So hopefully you can start to see a Christmas tree forming. I really love this effect. And now I've done it in the green and the red. I think it looks lovely. So take your card blank. It's up to you what size you put this on. So I'm going to have it a bit higher this time. I've already got another version, but I'm going to bring this one up higher. So I'm going to cut it right along from this, the bottom, the largest one. I'm going to cut it. Actually, no, I need to come up. Maybe I could get it. No, I think I can. Yeah, I'm going to cut straight across, but you're going to keep all the pieces. So just carefully lift that up. Pop it into your trimmer and I'm going to line up the points of the green piece. Now, when you cut this, be very careful. Go slowly with it. Really push down on this piece because it's such a small amount. There we go. Now, these pieces you're going to piece back in if you want to. Now, you may want to stick it down. I'll trim off those pieces in a minute. But you may just want to stick it on your card and have this white space. Okay, so that's one idea. But I'm going to use these and I'm going to piece it back together and these pieces here you're going to need. And you're going to slide them. You'll see we can start to add them and fill all that white space. So it's up to you whether you want to do this. But first of all, I would recommend sticking the solid part down because you want to be able to, you want the bottom part to stay free from the card at this point because you need to slide the other pieces under. So I'm just covering just where it's all joined really. So you should have all this still unattached from the card. So now I can add my glue to this one here. And you'll trim this off and again, you can use them on other cards and you're just gonna slide it. Don't worry if you get glue on the card blank because it's all gonna get covered, but just slide it under until it comes right up and butt it up into that corner like so and then I've got this big piece here so I'm just gonna again add my glue again just slide that one under and just keep doing that until you've covered this section completely And then when you get to the very bottom, if you've got anything you can still see, I might just add a tiny, tiny little bit in there. Even though that kind of covers it, there's a little bit of white to the left of it. There we go. So now you can run your glue 
down underneath all of the other pieces and just stick those down. And then just flip the card over and you can go in there and trim off all the excess and use this, you know, to do maybe smaller Christmas trees. You might want to do a bit of decoration inside the card. And then when it's all stuck down, you have that wonderful effect. I think this is fabulous. You could cut around that now if you wanted to and have it as just a topper. You could have it as an easel so it pops up on the easel card, you know, cut behind this. So it's just white card, not on, you know, a six by six card like I've got it. You could give it a white frame if you wanted to. But it's just such an easy but really effective. So this is the other one I did. And then I thought I need to do this in some, you know, more Christmas festive glittery colours. But what I might do with this one is have it as a side fold so it's not a tree anymore and just have a, a nice sentiment stamped here or something. You'll see at the end when I do all the sentiments. But that one now is just a really lovely, very clean, simple Christmas card, but it's got such a lovely finish to it with that glitter card. So that's card number two. OK, so for card number three, really easy, but a lovely effect. So I'm going to take the largest frame size and I'm going to have it on an angle like so. Then I'm going to take the next size down. So just check which one sits inside that one. But this time you're just going to move it across like so. And then again, take the next one. And you want to just focus on this white space here. Make sure it's the same on each one. So you can see here, I mean, I'm just placing this. Once you add your glue, you'll be able to wiggle it around into place, but something like that. And then again, that's one. That's the next one. So put it on an angle. And then that one. That one. And then I'm going to finish with the solid square again on an angle can you see that really cool psychedelic kind of effect that you get and then you've got these pieces here so you'll be able to do another one if you want to so next you want to get it stuck down so i'm going to take it all off again so it's all down to the positioning of this one will then dictate how all the others look so i'm just gonna pop that one like so Again, if you want to lay anything down behind this, you can. I'm just showing you kind of the real basic designs and then you can obviously add a lot more to it. So again, just add my glue. So I'm going to stick all those down now. And that's then how it looks when it's finished. So again, I'll add a sentiment in a minute. It's just a really nice, quick and easy design. OK, so for card number four, I just want to use all these frames really. So I'm just going to play around and have them all overlapping each other. So how you do this is entirely up to you. But I think you can get some really nice results. Again, you could maybe have a picture of someone in one of them. Try and use one of each size, really. If we pop that one, I might have that one in there. Have the yellow. I'm trying to think where I want to place my sentiment. I think I might have a strip sentiment. I think that's one of each colour that I've got there. I don't really want to double up. I actually really like the placement of that one but I am thinking it'd be nice to just stamp directly onto this plain card so I think I'm going to bring that up a bit I think I need to bring in a smaller one of that colour I like it underneath there I'm going to come up maybe there actually I want to have a sentiment right the nice boldish one stamped along the bottom there so I'm wondering actually if I get rid of that I might not have that one I think I'm going to keep those ones and just do something like that. 
unless I do that one as a solid square. Maybe that there? That could work actually. Move that one up a bit. And then I'm going to stamp a sentiment down the bottom there. So I'm going to stick all that down. Okay, I've changed it and added a little bit more to it, but again, just flip it over and just trim off the excess there. And then you get that really fun effect. I think this would work really nice for kids cards, actually, especially if you use maybe patterned papers. And then I've got my space there to stamp the sentiment. So that's card number four. And then for card number five, I've got some green here that I've just cut. And I've got a smaller card blank here, which I've had for ages, so I'm going to use that so i don't need these larger ones so let's come down to the smaller ones okay so i've just added some glue and again i'm going to pop this into the middle and then get your next size down again again add your glue and then you're going to pop it so it's a diamond shape and just make sure you've got the same amount overhanging each part so that little white triangle there that's what i'm kind of focusing on and then get the next size again, check which one fits within the last one that you stuck down. Add your glue. And then this one's going to go back into a square shape. So you'll see now you want to focus on this white space between the two sizes there. And then again, that one fits inside there. So this one's going to go back on top. And just keep repeating that process. And then the last one, that solid square, will just go in the middle. This will look lovely in rainbow colours. It will also look nice in Christmas glitter cards, mirror, holographic, things like that would look lovely. And you've got enough there to be able to create another card. And then here's another one that I done in a different colourway. I think they look really really nice these would look lovely on the top of a gift box as well you could cut that out and that could be again your topper to decorate or on the side of a gift bag as well but i'm now going to add my sentiments onto all these and then i'll show you them at the end okay so i've finished them all so here's this one and i've used a little thank you sentiment which are from this set here i picked these up a while ago i always share everything in my what did i get video so if you're ever you know wanting to see the kind of things i buy then watch those because sometimes i don't always use the product straight away like, for example, this one is the first one I've taken from it. So, but whether they're still available, I'm not sure. But I thought that worked really well in the middle of that one. These ones here I've decided to cut out and I, I just think they're too nice. I want to use them in another fun fold or something. I just see this as an easel. I see it sticking up. So I have popped a sentiment there just to give you an idea if you do keep it on the card. But this one here, I don't know, I kind of like it coming down from the top as well. So we'll see, we'll play around with those, but I think it's a really interesting design. This one here, I've just stamped happy birthday along the bottom. I think that one's really cool. And then this one, just a little with love in the middle. I might change that, they're very low tack. I'm not sure if I actually really like that one, to be honest. We'll do something with that though. And I'm always needing thank you cards and these work really nicely. So this one's got thank you along with this one here. And this one has that yellow one again. In fact, I've got two sets of those stickers. Yeah, I've got another one buried underneath all my pile of stuff there. And then this one here, I think looks really nice with a little happy birthday in the middle. Okay, so that's all of the cards. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's tutorial. I've, I've loved putting these ones together, actually. It's been lots of fun. This one is definitely my favourite, so I'm going to be doing that again. But I'd love to know what's your favourite. Is it one, two, three, four or five? Again, it always helps me, you know, deciding what to do, you know, in future videos when I see what people are commenting and if you'd like me to use more shapes I mean I'm sure some of you are going to be going to your nested dies now and trying out the different shapes that you might have and you may you know discover some even more intricate 
fun effects like this one here and if you do I'd love to see them you can share anything that you make following my tutorials over on the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group I'll link that if you just click scroll down you can click more and you'll see all the links to all my social channels there and you'll be able to join that group there's a couple of questions to answer but then the admin will approve you and again if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed if you click the subscribe button hit that notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video Thanks for watching and I'll be back again next Sunday with more fun ideas on how to use your scraps. Bye.